what's up you guys it's Sarah and today I'm gonna be redoing the how to make a multi-layer stencil uh, on Photoshop and I've done this once before but the thing is I was using an older version of Photoshop and I don't really like how I explain things so I'm gonna do it all over again now, on the last video I actually took it down for like a couple of days and when it right as I took it down I just kept on getting messages and comments about bringing it back and eventually I did but it's been bugging me for a while to make a, like, I've, I've just been wanting to make a new one, you know? So, here it is. How to make a multi-layer stencil on Photoshop. Now, basically, I got this photo, this iconic photo of Aud Audrey Hepburn. Now, this is my way of doing it. Doesn't have to be your way. <laughs> if you don't like this way, there's a lot of other tutorials on how other people do it but this this is my way and of course there's n never really a wrong way or right way to do stencils basically the first thing that I do I always make sure to select all of the background because I don't really think it's necessary to keep the background when you're editing a stencil so I'm gonna come here to your select tool and basically you're gonna select everything in the background that you're not gonna want now, of course, it's going to select some of the stuff that you do want, so you're going to come back and deselect some areas. Now, once you're done selecting the areas that you don't want and deselecting the areas that you do want you're just gonna hit delete and it's gonna delete the background now you're gonna deselect everything you're gonna come over here now this is the part where how many, uh, you decide how many layers you're gonna want to do now usually I like to do three to four layers but it's up to you you can do as many layers as you want now I'm gonna grab this and then copy it over here now I got I'm gonna do three layers today now the first layer, you're going to click on it, you're going to come to images, adjustments, and then you're going to, whoop, derp, derp, alright, images, <laughs> adjustments, and then come down to the th threshold. Now, th like I said, this, like, a lot of these areas you're going to just try to figure out on your own. Uh, there's no right way or wrong way. There's no certain number that I think you should pick, but right here when you're figuring things out what I like to do is for the darkest layer for the black layer I usually like to just get enough details of the hair and I always always want to make sure that I get the eyes a little bit of nose and the mouth now this area seems pretty good so I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna come come over here to select go to color range and I'm gonna select the white. Now once I select the white, I'm gonna press OK. Now this is what, what it's gonna do is selecting all the white and you're gonna hit delete and it deletes all of that but the black layer. Now that's gonna be your first layer. Now you, you can't really tell that that's stencil until I deselect the other images. Now you're gonna keep on doing this to all your layers. I'm gonna hit the second layer gonna come over here to images adjustments threshold and of course you're gonna try to figure out which one seems which one looks right to you now I think I'm gonna stop it right here and click OK and gonna do the same thing select color range click on the white OK and delete of course I'm gonna do that on the last layer on the third layer um, this time, I don't really like selecting the white, just because I, I just, I don't really think there's a point to cutting it out at the end. So, basically, I got all three layers. Now I'm gonna, gonna shade them differently. Now, on the last layer, you're gonna go to images, adjustments, and then you're gonna go to hue and saturation. You're gonna come down here and you're gonna pick the lightest color. Now, 
what you, you could do is you don't have to do it in grays. Uh, you could come down here to colorize and of course do different colors, go crazy, go wild, it doesn't matter. But for now, I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna do grays. So I'm gonna pick the lightest gray and press OK. Gonna come down to the second layer and I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna choose a darker gray. And that looks good to me. I press OK. Now, um, what I like to do is come to layers. You don't have to do this, but this is just something that makes the picture pop out more so I can see how it's gonna be on a canvas. So I'm gonna go to new fill layer, solid color. Gonna press OK. And I'm just gonna pick a color. I press OK, move it down here. And there you go, you got a background color. If you guys have a question, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to see me paint this image onto a canvas and show you guys step by step how I paint things, uh, click that like button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. See ya.